Hello fellow simmers, welcome to another episode of my 100 baby challenge. Last time, let's see, we had the twins arrive, so we have two more baby boys, Everett and Francisco. I do believe they're about to age up pretty soon actually, so we'll have two toddlers on our hands here in a bit. Anna High got a job. She is a freelance photographer. Yes, a freelance fashion photographer. And she's done one gig so far. We actually need to select her another one. And I think I said she made a friend last time, but she didn't actually become friends. She just went and introduced herself to June Morita. I probably said his name wrong, but he is a firefighter. And that is uh, who's at least going to become her new friend. So, yeah, um, I think that was pretty much it. We didn't really do a whole lot last time. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Kaylee needs to get pregnant again. We've got one more baby slot over here. And if we can get Anna High to become good enough friends with June, we might just move Anna High out. And then we'll have room for... A new baby since Anna High is an adult now. All right, let's get started. What is going on? Uh, all the kids are home. None of them have started their homework. Oh my goodness. Who's running this household? Ah. Kaylee, what are you doing? The baby starts crying and you go clean the sink? Come on. Diaper time. Anna High, you broke the computer. No, why don't you go paint instead, Kaylee? How about that? Oh! What is Clark doing? Don't be mean to your sister. Oh, Kaylee's hungry. Look at her painting skills almost up. Oh. Priorities, priorities. Hmm. Painting. <laughs> Everett's birthday! And Francisco's birthday! And our painting is level 8! That means we can go ahead and- nope, nope, we are aging babies up. Age up Everett. And then age up Francisco. Blossom has sent Everett a gift. Who is Blossom and why are they a ghost? Alright, Everett is silly and Francisco is... Inquisitive. Alright, I guess that means we need toddler beds again. So, what have we got? We have another decorative collectible plate. Here you go. Plate on the computer desk. That's That that makes sense. Our house is getting very cramped. It's cramped and we don't have enough money to get an upstairs. That requires things like, you know, stairs. Oops. <laughs> I just needed another bedroom. Boop! Right back in the house. I did not want to do that though. I just wanted to copy the room. Not everything in it. Okay. Let's try that again. Alright. Yeah. There's our house. Slowly expanding. Yeah. Really that's all it's doing. It's not looking any better. It's just getting bigger. <laughs> Alright. 6am. The school children are up. It is apparently love day. This is our least favorite holiday in this game. <laughs> Not like this game in general, but like like this challenge, right? Because Kaylee's not allowed to have a boyfriend or get married or any of those fun things. It's okay, though, because she doesn't want to. But, you know, there's that deeply rooted societal expectation of participating in Love Day that Kaylee just doesn't get to do, and it makes her sad, deep deep on the inside. But anyway, we are going to get the children ready for school. Go take a shower instead. Oh gosh, school starts at an hour. This is a disaster. The small children are very angry, very, very angry. Okay, well good thing we have two of these left. I'm sorry Brenna, you'll just have to get breakfast at school. I know those school meals aren't the best, at least if you live in the U.S. <laughs> but, um, that's what you're gonna have to do this morning. I'm sorry. School flower fundraiser. 
In honor of Love Day, Dexter's school always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, Dexter decided to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Where did Dexter get money? That wasn't from his mom. Buy flowers for everyone in class. Sure, why not? If you somehow have money to spend, go for it. Dexter decided to surprise the entire class with flowers. Unfortunately, he forgot to sign the cards. And when the flowers were delivered, another kid took credit. What a crummy love day. Oh, well, I guess that's Millsy? what we get for being nice, Dexter. Should be more like your brother. He's mean. Oh, Kaylee got a lifestyle. The single and loving it lifestyle. Unlocked on love day. <laughs> I think that's very fitting. It's very fitting for Kaylee. Food fight. Why are they calling Anna High about this? Clark started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. We're still cleaning up. Anna High, is she either going to say, what a natural leader, or he should help clean? Well, Anna High's not mom, so... I mean, she would probably think it's funny, because this is her little brother. So I think she's going to just be a sarcastic little butt munch and tell the school, what a natural leader, because that sounds like something Anna High would do. Decorating for the Love Day dance. When the teacher asked for volunteers to help set up for the Love Day dance, Brenna was quick to raise her hand. Not only would she get out of class for a few hours, but she'd be given a unique opportunity. So... Is she going to decorate for the best dance ever, or is she going to prank the Love Day dance? I'm pretty sure Brenna's more of a nice person. I don't think she's really the type to prank, so she's going to go for the best dance ever. Oh no, everybody's having such a bad Love Day. Oh, and another one? Oh my gosh. Exchanging secret Love Day cards. For Love Day, Clark decided to handcraft a card for their crush, complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Oh, I would love that. He'd win my heart. Because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Exactly! Clark just needed to decide if she should, or sorry, if he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. All right, well, before they forgot to sign the cards. So this time he's going to take full credit and boldly deliver the card by hand. Oh, they called it the most awesome card ever. And he got invited to hang out with the popular kids at recess. Wow. So we made the right decision there. We need to corner somebody. Who's this? Gerard Bullard. A new mail carrier. We're going to go talk to them. Ask him about his career. I bet he's not a mailman. Oh, can we hug already? I don't know if we're ready for that. A child! What are you doing? <laughs> Look at their face. Oh, oh, everybody is home from school. Oh, boy. Alright. Homework. 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 Alright, grab a serving and watch some TV. And when you're done, grab a serving and watch some TV. And then when you are done, you will also grab a serving and watch current channels. Well, uh, it's late. We are sending a toddler to bed. Ooh, someone wants to purchase a painting. We're gonna just pop that into her inventory and she can go ship it. I love how she has this inspired thing from a successful sale on Plopsy when it was actually her mother that made the sale. She just put it in the mailbox. Let's find her a gig. Let's see. 345, 428, 680. We'll go with the 680. <laughs> Alright. We got some pictures of Brenna. Uh oh. There's a monster under the bed. The boys are freaking out. Alright, go spray it. But why would you wake up? Oh, she's the one I told to go spray it anyway. Okay, well, oops. Love day was awful, 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 awful. It is 6 a.m. on a Saturday, and Dexter is awake. What a little weirdo. But he kind of wanted to take a bath, so I guess the best way to beat, you know, your five siblings and mother to the bath is to get up first. Clark was apparently feeling a bowl of peas for breakfast. We've got two filthy and hungry toddlers. Anna High is up. She is also hungry, but, um... <laughs> She gets to cook again because breakfast is all out. 
So she's going to serve scrambled eggs with bacon. Why are you sad? Oh, what meat? Oh, cause eggs! <laughs> oh. And bacon. Yeah, and bacon. It's probably the bacon. This household is just craziness right now. See, where's this one? Okay, he's doing something that's acceptable. What's Dexter doing? Dexter's out here standing. I don't trust him. He needs to get one more skill to social. Where's your sibling? Oh, is he sick? Oh, no. Okay. She has some medicine. Here you go, Clark. Take some medicine. And then your brother wants to come chat. Oh, right, Brenna. You have no skills. Come on, Brenna. We're going to have you go jogging. There you go. Jog to clear mine. Don't drop your homework. I'll never find it again. <laughs> Rudy's passed away! No! Not Rudy! I'm actually going to kind of miss him. Oh, no. Rudy, look, she's sad. She always yelled at him and never answered the phone. But she's still mourning from losing a friend. Yeah, that, that's what Anna High... That, that was her call, too. That was her father. Why is she sad? I'm posting a photo of her fashion Instagram. You know, the other two just lost someone close to them, Anna High. You should have a little perspective. Oh, making friends. I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Just keep being friendly. Make one grand friendly gesture, or you can't force friendship. It is true that you can't force friendship, but it also doesn't hurt to keep being friendly. Like, even if they don't want to be your friend, you should still be friendly. So that's probably really the best option to go with. Everybody's getting pretty hungry by the looks of it. We should probably get out dinner. Wasn't I supposed to buy a dining room table? <laughs> I don't think I ever did that, apparently. Yeah, we really need a dining room. We need a big one. This is the cheapest long one, but I really just don't like how it looks. This one would be perfect if, if it was longer. But this one's not bad. How much is it? Five thirty-five. Okay, we might be able to deal with this one. There's not really a wood color that I like. But I guess we'll just have to deal with it. What pack is that from? What is that? Cool Kitchen? Um, okay. I bought some cool kitchen chairs to match it then. That's a stuff pack, right? 95 each times 8? Whew. None of the chairs really match it anyway. I guess those ones kind of do. They match the stripe around the edge. We can probably find better ones. How about these cheap ones? No, not quite. Those, are, those aren't bad, actually. Strappy metal? <laughs> sure. We're, we'll go with that. Alright, Kaylee is painting... Anna, okay, what time is it? Yeah, it's six o'clock. We need to get everybody fed. We'll just have everybody stop what they're doing and come eat. We're gonna have you stop what you're doing too. You can also come grab something to eat. Everybody can sit down and eat as a family. Get paid 6,000 for this one? Seriously? For photography level one? I mean, okay, we'll take it. And it's the same thing as the other ones. All right. Brenna, I want you to go for another jog. Are you doing your extra credit? You're such a good boy. You're very mean, but you're good. <laughs> They're a monster. Oh boy. Alright, they woke mom up, so mom gets to go spray. They also woke Anna High up. Anna High is going back to sleep, though. Did you guys wake Brenna up, too? Children! I guess while we're up, we can go through this in the mail real quick. We need you to get up and come cook breakfast, because that is your job now, apparently. It's all right, we'll just have you do some fruit salad. While you're doing that, Brenna, Brenna is going to come take a shower. Don't walk in on your brother! Every time. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? She's still sad. I'm going to be so sad about Rudy for a while. Mom, why do you keep doing that?
No, Clark. Fine, have a ham and cheese sandwich. All right, the food is done. She's eating. All right. You will come grab a serving. You will not grab a serving because you have a sandwich. You will come grab a serving. And then the toddlers, how are the toddlers? Everett will grab a serving. Francisco will grab a serving. Everybody will be happy. Kaylee, what are you doing, Kaylee? Go list that on Plopsy, and then you will grab a serving. The children are arguing at the table. All right, everybody, I think I'm going to leave it here for the day. My goal was to try to get Anaheim moved out, but I think I spent more time micromanaging the family to try to keep them on track than anything else. So hopefully in the next episode, we will get Anaheim moved out, get Kaylee a bit closer with, was it Gerard she was talking to? Pretty sure it was Gerard. Yes, right there. Get closer to Gerard. Hopefully get pregnant. I say hopefully have more twins, even though that sounds like a terrible time. <laughs> and really get this baby train moving. Kaylee's going to age up soon, so we really need to get out as many kids as we can. And we'll see if um we'll have more boys. Because if that's the case, then Brenna will become the next matriarch. Um, but we might have more girls, so we'll see what happens. So leave a like if you enjoyed the video and drop a comment to let me know what you thought. Hit subscribe if you want to know what we're up to next time. I post new baby challenge episodes every Wednesday and Sunday. So I will see everybody then. Thanks. Bye-bye.